Let's move to another running back here. Todd Gurley going to the Atlanta Falcons announced this morning. Uh, the offensive ranks for the Falcons last year, they were ninth overall in offense uh, based on number fires metrics. The Rams were 16th. The Rams passing offense was better because Jared Goff is great. Uh, they were 10th in schedule adjusted passing efficiency. The Falcons were 11th. So I don't think the offense changes that much for Todd Gurley. I think the offensive line is slightly better with Chris Lindstrom being healthy for the Falcons. Uh, I would expect their offense line to be better than what I expected out of the Rams. But I don't think we're going to see like a bell cow type back. So I think Todd Gurley kind of remains the exact same. Am I often thinking that? No, I think it's, I think that's about right. Uh, I reacted to this one on number fire. And I think that there's a lot of perception that like Todd Gurley is terrible now. And that is not the case. I mean, he's still efficient, like on a per carry basis. I mean, he had the same rushing net expected points per carry as Saquon Barkley last year, uh, as Nick Chubb last year. Uh, he, had, he was third in rushing success rate. I mean, he's been decent, and he played almost as many, like in terms of snap rate, he wasn't that far off from where he had been the past two years, despite all of the injury concerns. So, it's yeah, it's kind of like status quo for me uh, with Todd yeah. Gurley. And I think and that... I was way higher on Todd Gurley most weeks than you. It feels like so well, he's no Wayne Gallman. So that's why. That's... Um, <laughs> yeah. uh, but I think with Gurley, the one thing that could be positive here and potentially make this a slight upgrade is that the Rams didn't throw to running backs very much last year. That could have been due to personnel, but the Falcons have traditionally uh, Devontae Freeman was despite being terrible last year. He was DFS relevant at times because of targets. So I think that that's good. And I, I you know, I had the same note about Gurley's success rate. He was third in football last year. Uh, Malcolm Brown was at 40.6%. So six percentage points lower than Gurley and Daryl Henderson was eight percentage points lower. So with guys running behind the same offensive line, Gurley was better, which bodes well for his talent. So I think if anything, it's a slight upgrade for Todd Gurley, but I don't think it's like a a huge deviation for him. 